गुड आफ्टरनून डॉक्टर वर्मा सर हितेश ठाकरे हियर फ्रॉम सेंट जॉन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सर आई हैव मेड यू द को होस्ट सो दैट नाउ यू कैन स्विच ऑन योर माइक योर वीडियो एज हेलो डॉक्टर वर्मा सर यू कैन स्विच ऑन योर माइक इन दिस जूम एंड यू कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एक्चुअली ओके एंड आई हैव अनम्यूटेड यस सर यू कैन यस सर यू हैव अनम्यूटेड एंड यू कैन इफ यू वांट यू कैन स्टार्ट योर वीडियो एंड यू कैन नाउ आल्सो शेयर योर स्क्रीन बिकॉज़ दैट प्रेजेंटेशन विल बी देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन सो यू कैन शेयर इट आई आई विल not so any slides i will discuss i will uh, interact with the audiences no issues then uh, you can switch on your uh, this uh, a video sir from zoom you can switch on the video so that audience can see you yes sir fantastic it is it is visible now properly so So, I start now. Uh, sir, firstly, I will introduce you to the audience. Then okay. I will hand over this session to you. Okay, sir. Okay. Just uh, let us wait for one or two minutes so that participants uh, will join through YouTube as well. We have provided the link uh, for YouTube, so participants can also join over there. Uh, okay sir let us proceed with the session uh, good afternoon audience and respected resource persons i welcome you all for a, a third session uh, during uh, this fdb so uh, this session is going to be conducted uh, by a very senior and acknowledged faculty dr suresh kant verma sir let me introduce you to uh, the life and career of dr suresh kant verma sir uh, sir is uh, presently functioning as deputy director of nit patna national institute of technology patna sir has a rich experience of teaching of 27 plus years during these years sir has published seven papers in international journals three papers in national journals 20 papers in various reputed international conferences and 28 papers in various national conferences sir has guided 30 mtech students and three students have completed their phd under the guidance of dr verma sir before uh, becoming deputy director sir has also held other positions of administrations uh, such as sir was hod of mechanical engineering department for 2 years sir was dean of student welfare for 3 years and sir was dean of academics for 3 years so sir uh, i welcome you to uh, and uh, I request you to take the control of this session and uh, interact with the audience as you said over to you sir thank you dr h r thakre good afternoon i am professor s k verma deputy director of national institute of technology patna first of all 
I express my sincere thanks to organizers of this faculty development program for giving me opportunity to interact with you and share my experiences. The theme of the faculty development program, research technique and sustainable development in mechanical engineering is very relevant. In the present scenario, especially when the entire world is passing through COVID-19 pandemic, sustainability and Techniques to maintain the sustainability becomes more challenging and needs a focused attention. My topic is environment protection using solar energy. Definitely, when I say this is the topic, there are many questions, which is quite natural also, be occurring in your mind. The questions are, uh, say, why to protect the environment? What is the need? What are the different methods of environment protection? And why solar energy be considered for environment protections. These are all basic questions which needs to be answered. So in fact, this lecture is not uh, in the real sense uh, a class uh, room delivery tape. This is open to all participants to discuss to share their views, have interact with different uh, platforms to find out the solutions. So keeping in mind these basic aspects, I start with the meaning of environment. Actually, what do we mean by environment? And if you go in literature, you will find there are many definitions available and they are uh, depending upon the considerations of condition for example social condition cultural condition medical conditions etc in the present case environment which we consider is defined as the complex of physical, chemical, and biotic factors such as climate, soil, and living things that act upon an organism or an ecological community and ultimately determines its form and survival. It means the environment is nothing but the conditions in which you live, you work, you do different activities, etc. It can be considered as the natural world, for example, the land, air, and water, in which people, animals, and plants live. Thus you see the expanse of the environment. It is very big, challenging, and therefore it is very difficult to touch upon all the aspects in this short period, especially one hour or one and a half hour. Therefore, we will restrict ourselves to a very narrow band that is surrounding us. What we are going to consider 
H. Why protection of environment is required? Right? What are the means of environment protection? And why solar energy specifically be considered for this environment protection? And then finally, I would like to conclude by summarizing all these aspects. As I said, protection of environment is required. Now one may ask question, what is the need? Why to protect environment? The question is very simple because its answer is also very simple. So being simplicity in its answer, one can answer. If I ask uh, what is the need, why to protect the environment, what would be the answer? Due to pollution, right? Pollution is taking place. As a result, land is being polluted, water is being polluted, air is being polluted, and that's why we need to protect the environment. Now, one may think of what is the wrong? What is the concern if it is being polluted? What are the effects? Why to worry about it? The result is obvious. You might have observed that, suppose if I talk about air, air pollution is very common, and the effect of air pollution, everyone is aware of. Now the question is, who is doing this pollution? And in what way the pollution is being done? The effect we all see. So what would be the remedy? That is very simple. If you stop doing pollution, pollution will not take place. But is it so simple? People say that with the advancement in technology, developments taking place in the field, when we use those technology, the result is in a way or other pollution inherently taking place. Now in the present scenario, when the lockdown was imposed due to this COVID-19 pandemic situation, when all the vehicles were not allowed to run, flights were banned, Trains were stopped. All industries were closed. What was the net result? Especially I'm talking about say air. The effect of all the pollutants taking place, especially towards air pollution, Now pollutants were minimized or a stop. As a result, air became clean. And you know that there is a quality index which determines the purity of air. As you know, Air is very essential commodity for the mankind, living beings. You cannot sustain without air. When 
the lockdowns were imposed, air was getting purified because no contamination was going to air. As a result, the changes were visible. We could see, and uh, I have read in some newspapers that the peaks of Himalayas were visible now from a distant place, say from Samastipur in Bihar. There is a place, Samastipur in Bihar. From there, people could see the Himalaya, which was not visible when the normal activity was taking place. What was the region? The region was air pollution. Pollution level was so high that uh, it was not visible. But when it was controlled by not allowing vehicles, industries, all sort of things, the air started getting purified. The air quality index improved and uh, people were able to see the Himal. People felt very good when they could see this. We were trying to convince the people that if you continue like this, then a day will come when it will be very difficult to sustain. But it was not so simple to control. Lastly, this situation it was not due to this, but due to this, when this was considered that it is the only solution, then the result were visible. So this is not true only with air. This is true with water also. This is true with land also. And uh, if you go back the ancient time, you will find that ecological awareness is not only the concern of present time, it was also in those times. The only difference is that the environmental awareness growing today is a reaction to the environmental destruction caused by the technological achievement, as I mentioned earlier also. Today, people are actually suffering from problems such as pollution, population growth, and imbalance in the environmental cycles. Therefore, humanists of this century have anxiously started thinking for such problems with various dimensions. But one can see that ancient people belonging to various cultures had shown much concern to the environment in which they breathe in. Thus, though they did not face these problems, they were aware of their environment, of course, with not so acute dimensions as seen today. The relationship between man and nature is inseparable. Ancient Indians had a fairly good sense of ecology, though they had not produced any separate treaties in this subject. Old people never bothered about the necessity of ecology because they never faced ecological problems. 
environmental awareness is an attitude of man towards his surroundings that is it is his relationship with nature even though the ancient man ever bothered about the surrounding we can trace out their ecological awareness from the glimpses of the their literary record if you look at vedas asmriti quran you will find there are evidences there are quotations there are narrations about ecological awareness so it is not a new thing there are verses for example if you say vedas vedic people were one with nature and the verse a particular verse is there which means one is that which manifests in all and this points out this idea it was essential for the survival of ancient people to learn how they could interfere with world around to improve quantity and quality of food shelter health hunting and fighting potential man had to recognize what powers of nature he would be unable to control and he was thus compelled to resort to magic and religion to win the cooperation of winds rains regularity of the monsoon and astronomical recurrences for the control of earthquakes or natural dam burst forest fires river flow and all major elements of nature ever since the time of rigved we find that the man has established very close relations with various natural elements he has treated himself as part just a small part of the whole cosmos india's ancient attitude towards the nature was never a dominating one one can see that vedic people were carefully observed nature from their references about air water trees and the like as i mentioned about air air is the basis of the life of all living beings so we must prevent air pollution mostly in atharva ved there is a verse we say the greatness of air and sun you are spread on atmosphere and must destroy all types of diseases quality of air also explains in another verse as air has two qualities one is to remove all guilts from body that is prana and apana so air is called as bis besat as it is curing all types of diseases in rigved also there is explanation of why you as the treasurer of nectar and the curator of all diseases there is also description about them which will destroy the pollution mountain water air rain and fire will remove the pollution will make clear the environment in some other mantras requesting for the saving of our environment to earth water plants air river forest etc are seen so what i want to emphasize here that 
this problem which we are facing now is not a totally new thing it was there also but only the difference is the way which now it is we are considering it and the way in which it is being treated so there is a need as i said the topic is very vast there are various various aspects related to this one example i cited about air similar is the case with water as you know water is a great necessity of man water is life and so it is called g1 there are many evidences available in the vedas related to this one can go through it for its detail study detail explanation which are given there are many references about this for example if you take oceans you will find there is also reference about the goodness of ocean as it is the treasure of jewels it is the source of rain and it has the power to produce electricity that's why in rigveda it is said that water plants forest trees all save our life as water is very essential for our life care must be taken of water from pollution in yajurved there is a message not to do any activity which is harm to purity of water and plants and also there is another mantra which says make water always pure and qualified methods are also mentioned if you go for all these things in details in our vedas upanishads and you know upanishads are the core of indian philosophy upanishads are based on the vedas the human being is fully associated with it so these are the few points which just give you to look at the environment the process by which it is being polluted and its effect on the human beings life and so on there are different ways different means for the environment protection i would like to touch upon only one aspect that is solar energy right in the solar system you know that the sun is the most powerful because it has capability to provide the energy which is required for all the activities now you see when we talk about globally the need of energy the sun itself is capable of supplying energy 
in the present era we say that energy crisis is there the entire world is facing the problem of energy and energy is a vital element for the sustainability its development there are different means ways to supply the energy to fulfill the demand of energy but sun alone of itself capable of supplying the required energy now the question is what are the techniques needed so this faculty development program that is research technology for finding out the solution which is amicable and capable of providing all the energy needs of course there are certain difficulty associated with the solar energy no doubt nothing is perfect in the world both aspects are there if merits are there then demerits are also associated with it the same is true with solar energy also but if you look at in totality and compare it with others you will be able to find you will be able to realize that the benefit part of solar is much more than its disadvantages part so if i uh, give you an example from mahabharat there is one parv in section 3 it is mentioned a slok is there in which it says that we should seek protection from the sun and that's why the sun is considered as the god we say sun god right so a slok is in sanskrit which i read निशिक्त चंद्र तेजो भी सूयते जगतो रवि ओ सध्या सडसा मेध्या अस्त दनम प्राणी नाम भुवि एवं भानुमयम हयंतम भूतानाम प्राण धारणम नाथोयम सर्व भूतानाम तस्मातम शरणम ब्रज इट मींस विद द मून infused by its light the sun energizes the plants with six tastes which constitute the food for all living beings on the earth thus the food that support the lives of creature is filled with solar energy and the sun is the father of all living things therefore seek protection from the sun god so sun is capable as i said i am not not going a statistics but if you look at that data if you go through you will find the demand of energy and amount of energy which can be supplied by the sun if you compare you find that the amount of energy which is available with sun is much much more than what we need now 
so sun is capable of supplying the energy for our planet the question is how to trap this how to harness this energy for our purpose so far technological advancements are concerned much has been done in this regard and much more is required to be done because there is a lot of a scope for this again if i go back to our primary needs and uh, if you look at the problem from solar energy point of view you will find the difference for example in our day to day life we need hot water for different purposes we take bath we clean our utensils we clean our cloths floors different uses are there for hot water and how do we get hot water we use electricity for heating the water there is no need to mention here that everybody is aware of the cost of energy electrical energy which we can manage with solar you might have heard of solar water heater right nowadays you find that every house is fitted with solar water heater and you get the required temperature of water that we call hot water for our household purposes we can use this hot water for our day to day needs only cost is installation cost of course running cost is there maintenance cost is there because it fails due to some reason or other that is the uh, point of research that is the uh, area where we can find the new techniques we can uh, find the uh, new research which can lead to provide long life duration of the equipment which is being used for supplying hot water and uh, at the same time low cost because engineering is about cost effectiveness also so this is one area one aspect where we can use solar energy if you talk about the india in particular you will find that we are lucky enough due to our ge geographical conditions our location latitude and longitude we are fortunate enough we have plenty of solar energy available throughout the year during some period say for example uh, uh, winter season or monsoon some months where we have low intensity of solar energy but uh, if you consider the entire year that is 365 days and if you compare with other countries you will find we are fortunate in the sense that we have sufficient days for clear solar radiation bright sun is available so we need to develop a techn technical aspect is there device we need to develop a device which can trap solar energy which can be used directly as in the case of solar water heater as i mentioned right now or it can be converted into the electricity as in the case of solar cells because 
electrical energy is the form of energy which is used mostly in convenient way whether it is electrical motor whether it is for running the fan operating our air conditioner or ovens or light anything you think of you will find electrical energy is the most suitable for so we use electrical energy for different purposes you can heat the room you can cool the room with the help of electrical energy so whether it is a case of heating or cooling in both the cases we use electrical energy but electrical energy is costly so we are in the way to find out some alternative source the answer is again solar energy if i consider solar energy for our day to day activity you will find that there are two ways of utilizing solar energy one is direct use in the form of heat that is thermal energy right and second one is it has to be converted into electrical energy by some means and then this electrical energy will be utilized and for this purpose we have solar cells solar energy is directly converted into electrical energy with the help of solar cells and the effect is called photovoltaic effect of course the device has very less efficiency but again our researchers are working on it they are trying to find out the solution they are trying to find the way by which the efficiency of the solar cell can be increased so that we can get more conversion of solar energy into electrical energy which can be used for further purposes now if we look at the intensity of solar energy available at the earth surface you will find hardly it reaches to the value of 1000 watt per meter square this is the disadvantage side of the solar energy there are many factors associated with it whereas if you talk about extra terrestrial solar radiation the value outside the earth's atmosphere is 1367 watt per meter square. at the earth level ground level it is seldom 1000 watt per meter square i am telling you the highest figure 1000 otherwise it is much below than this maybe 600 700 or at most 800 watt per meter square so if you consider the a you will find a huge uh, area is required to trap this energy because one a square meter if you consider the area then how much solar energy will be incident on this at most 1000 1000 is coming to this available to this surface but all 1000 watt will not be converted usefully in usable form of energy if 
again if you say we are using heat energy then all this heat energy will not be utilized there are certain losses which cannot be uh, totally ignored of course it can be reduced significantly with uh, improvement in the design of the system solar equipment so there is disadvantage considering this point that we need large area to collect solar radiation which is required for providing the required amount of energy for a particular purpose now the question is how to overcome it and so there is need of new techniques to be developed and here is the research techniques for sustainable development especially especially in mechanical engineering this is the topic of this webinar the organizers have very thoughtfully designed this course which will cover the different aspects different angles different prospects and combine it together in order to find out the solution as a whole for sustainable development in mechanical engineering sustainable development in general but particularly in mechanical engineering so if you consider this utilization of solar energy from thermal point of view on and electrical point of view as i uh, pointed out these two aspects solar thermal and solar electrical for solar thermal just i said uh, i mentioned about solar water heater and uh, for solar electrical we have solar cells you will find tremendous work is going on many results are available and uh, as i said uh, still there is a much scope in this field to be explored so keeping in mind one can consider this as a challenge for finding out the solution for sustainable development i have also mentioned that if you compare the advantages and disadvantages of solar energy you will find that for a particular case of utilization of solar energy much point you will find towards advantageous side for example if you look at you will find solar energy is freely available in nature it is available in abundance the only thing you have to find out solution you have to find out device you have to design a solar system equipment which will capture the solar radiation and will convert into usable for a party once you design you fabricate you manufacture the system the cost which is related to its running is very very less of course there is no running cost of course maintenance costs are there as i mentioned but you can consider the running cost as nil there is no running cost so if you analyze it in the cost effective manner you will find it is 
economic, which is cost effective. But you have to consider the entire life, then you will be able to appreciate it. Otherwise, you will find uh, the installation cost is itself much more. And if you compare it with the conventional systems, you will find uh, this is a higher side. But as a total, if you look at the problem and it's uh, working, its output, its delivery, then you will be able to appreciate it. Now, if you consider all these aspects, then you can make a remark on this, which I put you as a question in the beginning, why solar energy for environment protection? Now the things are clear. If you consider the different methods of environment protection with solar energy, you will find that this has many advantages, as I mentioned, right? Then the question is, why not to opt it? Why not to go for exploring this? Why not to inculcate the habit of utilization of solar energy in our day-to-day -day life? Our life will be very easy. It will be very comfortable. Because if the environment is pollution free, then what else is required? If you suppose you develop a system which has a high impact on the environment, then you cannot go for it. So slightly less efficient system may also be considered even if the efficiency is a little bit less because its impact, ill impact, ill effect on environment is less. So perhaps I have covered all these aspects which I thought in brief to be communicated to the uh, participants I have covered. And uh, I believe that I have been allotted uh, the time up to 3.30. Is it like that, sir? Thakre, sir? Uh, yes, sir. So I should uh, uh, wind up because it is now 3.25. So within five minutes, I must conclude. And then if uh, any questions are there, I would like to uh, discuss. Yes, sir. Fine. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, actually, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, sir, uh, also wants to express uh, his uh, gratitude and opinion about your session. Okay, sir. Yes. Most welcome. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, sir, uh, uh, you can uh, speak now. Yeah, hello, Varma, sir. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. Yeah, please. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. Really, I'm very thankful to you. Why, sir? Why to thank? I must thank. <laughs> uh, really, I am I'm very happy to share my views and whatever you taught, uh, you, you taught for this our participants and our students as well. I still remember that yeah. uh, bo both of us have done PhD under same guide around uh, 25 yes. years ago. That's true, sir. 
25 years ago. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, of course, that the way we have uh, uh, combined about uh, environment with solar and giving some example with Upanishad and Vedas. So really, it is uh, it gives a clear picture among us to learn about our old Indian history and uh, the slogans given by our Rishi Muni is like that. In that regard, I wish to congratulate all of you, my participants and a speaker as well, with some knowledge here in this topic. Like say, as you told about 1353 watt per meter square, that is of course it is a solar constant are reaching at the extraterrestrial outside the Earth atmosphere with having 3% plus minus accuracy. Another data I want to share with uh, all participants about this energy produced by the sun. That is 0.01% is very, very less. 0.01% of energy produced by the sun is sufficient to meet the whole requirement of the whole world for one year. Just can imagine, only 0.01% of energy produced by the sun can meet the whole requirement of the whole world for one year. It is very, very, very uh, important things to uh, listen and to grasp it. In fact, the whole energy produced by the sun is not reaching to earth. Only only 30% of energy produced by sun reaching to earth because as you know, around 250 to 300 sun signed days are available in our country. In fact, as you know, this whole energy is available very, very free of cost, very, very free of cost. But anyhow, this energy should be harnessed by all of us, or the whole human going, whether it is in India or abroad, everywhere. Because what we have held, suppose in rainy season, let us say for continuously four or five days, even 10 days, if sun is not being observed by us, we feel very, very bad. Oh my God, it's raining, raining, too raining, sun is required. And then really we realize what is the importance of the sun. And henceforth, we say right from ancient India period, I should say, we consider as Burma sir told that yes, sun is called God. Of course, some person say it, John also, John, sun. Uh, another thing I want to say about solar pond. Pond. I am sharing this my experiences with participants. Solar pond, you might be knowing, uh, that is having a la layers of salt concentration and other uh, chemicals. Throughout the world, there is only one country I should say that is more advanced and that is Israel. You might have heard about Dead Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Israel has connected both sea with a channel having a flow rate 50 meter cube per second. That channel was created and level of both sea is now at the same level I should say and that was completed in 2010. Dead Sea having highest concentration where you can read a newspaper also by floating yourself. Yes, by floating yourself on the level of water at the top post level, you can read a newspaper also. And that concentration Israel has utilized by putting uh, water from Mediterranean to Sweden. And you won't believe, my dear friends and students and all, that the energy produced by that solar uh, that solar, that whole sea is considered a solar pond. The so whatever 
hot water we are getting right from the bottom bottom of the whole sea that hot water is utilized for running uh, i should say butane turbine which produces fine electricity the final figure that is energy produced is that whole uh, sea as a solar pond amount is 1500 megawatt can you imagine 1500 megawatt produced by that solar pond from that sea so with this really sir i am very very thankful to dr varma sir and thank uh, you sir thank you <laughs> uh, we will be in touch uh, being a perfect academician with uh, you and myself and other also this regard and uh, this communication should be always in touch with you and with others also thank you thank you so much ha to ant mein bas ek sab ji bolie ji ha 18 puran hai ha to astadash puraneshu astadash puraneshu 18 puranon mein उनका सार दो शब्द में व्यास मुनि ने बताया है तो मैं सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स को एक बार याद दिलाना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि हम लोग जो इन्वायरमेंट को सोचते हैं देखते हैं उसका नजरिया अलग है और नजर बदलने की बहुत जरूरत है जो जरूरत है क्योंकि तो नजरे बदली तो नजारे बदल गए और किस्ती का रुख बदला तो किनारे बदल गए <laughs> पहली बात हमारा नजरिया जिसको बदलने की जरूरत है और दूसरा जो मैं कह रहा था व्यास मुनि ने जो बोला है अठारो पुरानों में दो शब्द में वो ये है अष्टादश पुराने सु द्वादश व्यास वचनम द्वयम परोपकार आय पुण्य आय पाप आय पर जय हिंद नमस्ते थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर दिस सेशन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सेंट जॉन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट वी एक्सप्रेस आवर डीपेस्ट ग्रेटिट्यूड एंड थैंक्स फॉर योर सच एन इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड मोर टुवर्ड्स स्पिरिचुअलिटी सेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच इट वाज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ साइंटिफिक एकम्पलिशमेंट्स एज वेल एज स्पिरिचुअल इंटेंशंस जी Okay. So for the participants, uh, now we are uh, ending today's sessions over here. Tomorrow in the morning at ten, we'll start with our next session. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Have a good day.
नहीं नहीं अभी उसको भी नहीं मिलेगा जुलाई दो हजार इक्कीस तक नहीं मिलेगा अगर वो सर जुलाई इक्कीस में जो ऑर्डर आता है कि उसको रिस्पेक्टिव एफेक्ट से दिया जाएगा उनका जो भी एरियर होगा उस हिसाब से कैसे करके एरियर उसके पास
फिफ्टी परसेंट चला गया खत्म हो गया इसी में लेक्चर में डाटा सर एक घंटा बहुत ज्यादा है लगता है ज्यादा एक कंज्यूम हो जाता है लाइव और लाइव जा रहा है और रिकॉर्डिंग भी था यूट्यूब बनाया लगता है कुछ किया है कल बताए गए आ गया था ये नहीं कि पटना के भाव था वाला आ गया उतना तो चाहिए अब पूरे महाराष्ट्र में हुआ ना ये नहीं कि पटना है कैसे कौन पर है कौन है कौन है सब जरूरी बिजली है 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 अच्छा अच्छा अभी रेंट 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 तो 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 दोनों में टिक मार दिए उसमें आपको तो 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 नहीं नहीं है है ना एक तो इंडियन एक्सप्रेस लोकल है दैनिक भास्कर वाले से मनोवरी ना तो दैनिक भास्कर को दीजिए दोनों वाले दैनिक भास्कर का ऑर्डिनेंस रेजोल्यूशन हां होता है टाइम टाइम से ज्यादा है अभी फिलहाल काम कीजिए ना हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स तो पीएचडी का और दैनिक जागरण को लोकल वाकिंग ये दो का है दो का करा दीजिए फिर अगली बार से इससे बात नहीं किया दैनिक जागरण से जो भाई देने का मतलब ये है जो सरकार जो व्यू था सरकार की ठीक है सर ये करके और आएंगे
ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ